Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Windows 10 tutorial video. In this video, we'll be going over five different methods to fix any webcam issues you're having on your Windows 10 computer. So this can be very useful if your webcam is not working when you're using applications such as Zoom, Skype, Google Hangouts, maybe Microsoft Teams or Google Classroom, something like that, and your webcam is not working, hopefully the steps in this tutorial will fix those issues for you. So in this tutorial, we're going to start out with some very basic things we can try to fix the webcam. But if those don't work, then what we're going to do is dig into the settings in Windows and try to get your webcam working for you. So like I said, the first thing we're going to do is go over some very basic steps. First, make sure that your webcam's plugged in all the way. Make sure if it has a switch to turn it on that it is turned on. If you're trying to use your webcam with like a Zoom or OBS or Skype, something like that, and it's not working, try closing any applications that are open in the background that might be using your webcam, such as maybe a browser, something like that. Only one application at a time can use your webcam. So if something else is using it for some reason, then it will not work. So I recommend closing any applications in the background on your computer that you're not currently using. If you're using an external webcam, try to unplug it and then plug it into a different USB port on your computer, see if that works. And then lastly, before we get into everything else, go ahead and restart your computer and see if your webcam works after that. All right, so now that we've gone through those basics, let's get into the settings of Windows and try to fix our webcam issues. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that Windows is allowing your webcam to be accessed. And we do that by going down in the bottom left of Windows where you see the little start button, right clicking it, and when the menu comes up, go ahead and select settings. In the settings, we're gonna type webcam, and then you should see camera privacy settings. Go ahead and select that. And with these settings right here, what we wanna do is make sure first, allow apps to access your camera, make sure this is turned on, scroll down. And then the second one, allow desktop apps to access your camera. Make sure that's turned on. Below this in the list of applications, you should see the application that you're trying to use your webcam with, and it should say currently in use. If it does not say that, then there's an issue. So go ahead and turn this on and then restart your computer. The next method is going to be to uninstall and then reinstall the drivers for your webcam on your computer. And we do that by again going down to the Windows Start button down here, right clicking it and going to Device Manager in the list. Once Device Manager comes up, under your username, you should see cameras. Once you see cameras, right click it and go to scan for hardware changes. Once it completes the scan, hit the little drop down next to cameras. And then for integrated webcam, go ahead, right click that, go to uninstall device. And when you're doing this, if it asks you to delete it, do not say delete, just do uninstall. Select uninstall. That will remove it from the list. Now right click your username, go to scan for hardware changes. The option for camera should come back, and when you open that up, you should see integrated webcam again. If the option for camera does not reappear in the list, go ahead and restart your computer, go back into Device Manager once it restarts, and then you should see camera there. Now what I recommend doing is right-clicking on integrated webcam and going to Update Driver, and then going to Search Automatically for Updated Driver Software. This will look online for any updates for the drivers, and if it's already installed, then you can close it and we can move on to the next method. The last two methods for fixing any webcam issues on a Windows 10 computer are going to be related to any Windows updates that have been performed on the computer. So to perform these last two steps, we'll have to have administrator access on our computer. So if you don't have that, talk to the person that does have that access on your computer and then try performing these steps. So we're gonna do, the first one is going to be to just stop the Windows updates, delete any cache for those Windows updates and then start them back up. So to do this, what we're gonna do is go down to the Windows Start button again, right click the Start button, and then you should be looking for one of two things here. Either it looks like mine where it says Windows PowerShell, you wanna make sure you select the admin version, or select Command Prompt, and it should be admin as well. These will take you to the same thing. It just depends on the version of Windows you're running. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Windows PowerShell Admin. If it asks you to run it, go ahead and select Yes. And then once we have the Command Prompt or PowerShell open, we're gonna copy some text, and it's I will put this all down in the description for you. So go ahead and copy that, and then just paste it all at one time into the PowerShell window. And then select Enter. So it'll go through the steps of running all of these, clearing out the cache and the extra files for the Windows updates, and then it will start starting them again. As you can see, and then once you see System32, that means it's completed. Go ahead and restart your computer and see if your webcam issues have been solved. So let's get into the final method for fixing webcam issues in Windows 10. This method will involve 
editing the registry on your computer. So make sure you follow the steps very carefully so that nothing messes up on your computer. Perform these steps at your own risk. All right, so what we're gonna do is go down to the Windows Start button again, right click it, and then go to Run. Once the Run window opens up, in Open, we're gonna type Reg Edit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And again, check the description. I'll have all this information down there in case you get lost. Once you have that in there, select OK. Now what we need to do is just go through the folders to find the correct folder. So first you want to make sure you're under Local Machine, then Software, then go under Microsoft, open up Microsoft using the little arrow right here. Then under Microsoft, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then expand Windows Media Foundation. Under Windows Media Foundation, we want to expand Platform. And then what we need to do here is right-click Platform. This is under the Windows Media Foundation. Right-click it, and then go to New. Make sure in new, we select DWORD 32-bit. Now the version of your Windows operating system, either 32 or 64-bit does not matter here. Make sure you pick DWORD 32-bit value. This will create a new file under platform. We wanna make sure that the name of this new file is enable frame service mode. So I'll have this in the description, you can just copy that. What we need to do on the new file is just rename it. And you can do that if you've already selected out by right-clicking it and going to rename and then just pasting or typing in enable frame service mode with no spaces and just like this. And now that we've named the file, double click it and make sure that the value data right here is set to zero and select okay. So the next step really just depends on if you're running a 32-bit or a 64-bit version of the Windows operating system. And we can quickly find this out real quick, leave everything open in the registry editor by going down to the Windows start button, right clicking it, then going to settings, in settings, type about, and then one of the options that comes up in the dropdown should be see if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit version of Windows. Select that. In the device specifications below, you should see system type, and it should say either 64-bit operating system or 32-bit. If you have a 32-bit, you are done with the registry editor. You can close it. But if you have the 64-bit, what we need to do is go back up into the file directory on the left side, and under software, all the way at the bottom of software, you should see WOW 6432 node. Select that, then scroll down again and select Microsoft. Under Microsoft, we'll scroll down again to the bottom and you should see Windows Media Foundation. Go ahead and expand that. And then under here, you'll see platform again. Go ahead, do the same thing we did. So we'll right click platform under Windows Media Foundation and we'll go to new. We'll create a new D word 32 bit value. We'll name it the same thing that we named the other one. Then double click it, make sure that the value data is zero and select okay. And now we can close the registry editor. And just for safe measure, go ahead and restart your computer and then test to see if your webcam issues have been solved. All right, so those were five different methods to fix any webcam issues in Windows 10. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Windows 10 tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.